We're here with head Cal women's rowing coach Dave O'Neill. Coach, you're coming off your fifth straight Pac-12 title. Talk about this past weekend. Uh, this weekend, it was a great performance by all our crews. We knew we had a chance in every event. Um, you know, looking at how things shape, you know, were shaping up with uh, with the other programs and where we were going, we knew we had a chance. And uh, you know, it was a tough week going into it with finals and everything, but uh, we kind of looked at it like this is the height of the student athlete experience, and uh, everyone made the most of it. We made the most of the weekend, so we're uh, we're pretty happy. And your your varsity eight boat has won its last, I believe, six races, correct? Uh, you know, I, I don't keep track. I haven't counted. <laughs> <laughs> I sort of keep track of when they lose. Uh, but they, uh, yeah, they got beat pretty good uh, back at the Free Classic in uh, early April. So, but they're 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 doing well. Um, and now, turning our attention uh, to later this month in West Windsor, New Jersey, at the NCAA Championships, um, you come in as the number one overall seed in a six-team team field. What are you looking to accomplish? Obviously, with a national championship. You know, with us, uh, you know, I think there have been other times we've come in as the number one seed and uh, or the number one ranked number one. But realize that that is relatively meaningless. So it is entirely meaningless once we get to the championship. You know, we've had a good streak, we've had a good run this season, and uh, but anything can happen on race day. So we just have, you know, we can't control what the other programs are doing, what the other crews are doing. So all we can do is just go out there and do our thing. And we've had a good week this week, and uh, looking forward to racing really, really hard. And you competed back in this course when you won the national championship in '06. What is this course like? Uh, you know, it's. Uh, you know, it's kind of wide open. The spectator area is a little bit different. You know, Lake Natoma, it's great where, like, you come in, like, you can hear the fans for, like, the last 350 meters. And this one, the spectator area, area might be, like, the last 100 meters or so. And just looking at how the the boat storage area, it's a little bit different than it was in 2006. So uh, um, I think the crews will be out there rowing on their own a little bit more than some other races they've had. So uh, I think, but I think that'll be good for us. And it's a fair course. You know, they've had, uh, they have Olympic trials and national team trials there, so, uh, you know, we're familiar with the setup, and there's, you know, quite a few of our kids have rode there before, which, which I think will help us out. What have you seen from um, the individuals there? Obviously, your, your freshman boat has done very well, um, but especially your four seniors who will be rowing their last event here at Cal. Yeah, the four seniors, Elise Edom, she's been a, sort of a mainstay in the varsity the last few years, and... Uh, we were keeping looking back on the looking back on the year. She hasn't missed a practice all year long, you know. And Elise came in as a swimmer and uh, had some good success on the swim team. And then, um, you know, but realized that her uh, future in the swimming might be a little bit limited, and moved over to our team. And uh, she's been fantastic, you know, co-captain this year and uh, um, a huge, huge part of our team success. And uh, Christina Lofman, uh, a great kid, great athlete, terrific student. And, uh, you know, she's been, you know, fantastic throughout the entire year. Um, you know, she's had to deal with a fair amount in terms of injuries and a few other setbacks. And she, but, you know, Christina style, like she's always working hard and always really positive. And that's one of the, you know, a couple of things that we say is really important to being on our team is, you know, great attitude and great effort. And that's been Christina throughout. And uh, Becca Lindquist stepping up and uh, stroke of that second varsity eight. And uh, Becca is a real, real, real tough competitor. And, uh, you know, a real, a real fighter, and she's been she's been great, and I give her a ton of credit for what she's done this year. I'm really glad she transferred over from UC Davis uh, a couple of years ago. And Tanya Wolfram is a senior; she'll be racing at her first NCAA championships this year. And one of uh, the women on our team that's really stepped up stepped up this year. You know, in terms of where she was last year, and um, you know, and uh, really proud of her to you know being in that boat and winning pack winning the Pac-12 championship. So. Uh, Seniors have been great. Uh, a lot of kids on our team have stepped up and done a great job. So uh, we're looking forward to uh, finishing up the year on the, on the right note. And what's next for you in the coming days here leading up to next Friday's uh, national championships? Uh, a couple kids, Elise and Tanya. They gra uh, Becca is at graduation right now. Uh, Tanya and Elise graduate tomorrow. So tomorrow will be a little bit, uh, well, just in terms of the training schedule, it's a little bit of an easy day. Easy day. We, we have a hard day today. And uh, so we had to have practice at 5.45 a.m. this morning, which is, even, which is early for even rowers. Uh, but that was so, so that uh, Becca could shower before she went to graduation. And uh, the water was nice, and it was, a good, it was a good workout. And we'll be back out there this afternoon. And uh, we finished, we'll load the trailer tomorrow, and Coach Laveau and Coach Tavalero, they'll head out, drive east, and we'll row in some other boats 
on the boathouse until uh, Saturday. We'll uh, have an early flight on Sunday. And we're going to row at uh, uh, the upper Schuylkill River for a couple days, for a few days. Uh, Villanova has been kind, is kind of enough to host us. And uh, so we'll train on the East Coast there, you know, about 45 minutes away from Mercer before we head on up for, for the championship. And then what's the schedule for the three-day event like? Uh, heats on heats on Friday morning, semifinals on Saturday, and finals on Sunday. Saturday is always a stressful, stressful day for the coaches because we like we need to get all boats into the finals, and anything can happen in the semifinals. And uh, we've been fortunate enough over the last few years to get all boats into the grand finals, so that's going to be a big focus. You know, for us to win, uh, we really look at it. We have to have all boats into the finals, especially the varsity and the second varsity. Team. You know, they need to because uh, those are the big point winners. So, um, you know, and you will, uh, we'll be ready and, you know, we'll, we've been pretty good at handling stress. So I think uh, we'll have a good day. We'll have a good day Friday, good day Saturday, and hopefully a great day Sunday. And then conclude it with holding a national championship trophy on Sunday, right? Well, uh, I'm not going to make any <laughs> predictions, but we're going to do everything we can. So we'll, uh, we'll see. I know there's a lot of good teams out there that's going to be work. They're all working really hard. So uh, some good competition. So we'll see. Hopefully we're smiling Sunday afternoon. Sounds great. Well, good luck in New Jersey and go Bears. Go Bears. See ya.